and welcome brothers and sisters this is the healing eucharist daily mass and today this saturday we are celebrating the feast of saint arnold jansen priest and founder of svd ssps and ssp sap of course our priest presider and spiritual advisor and all of the priests that we have almost all of the priests that we have here are a member of the SVD and that is why this is very special to the daily eucharist fam to the daily healing eucharist family we know that every day when you come here, you have a lot of intentions. There are so many people that you pray for and that you're praying with and have asked for prayers from you. So we encourage you to type them out in the comment section below so that we can all pray together with you. Or if you want, you could put them in this form so that we could put them in the intentions for tomorrow and for Monday's Mass. This particular link, link right here bit.ly slash healing mass intentions. You will also find this link in the description of this mass. You could also use this particular QR code right here. Scan this QR code and direction na po yan doon sa link na sinasabi namin sa inyo where you could tell us who you are praying for and who we will, we will include in the mass tomorrow and on Monday. We thank you so much for your support, all of your prayers, all of the all of the help that you have extended our community. May God bless you a thousandfold. At wag po sana kayong magsawa na ipagdasal kami, tumulong, para po tuloy-tuloy din ang ministry na ito. Our priest presider today is Reverend Father Glenn Paul Gomez, SPD. We now begin our celebration. Rejoice and earth be glad, let all creation sing. Let children proclaim to every land, Hosanna to our King. Sound the trumpet into the night, the day of the Lord is near. So we now consciously connect our own self with our personal God, as we say, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. So today is a special day for us SBDs, SSPS, Blue Sisters, SSPS, AP, Pink Sisters, and with the lay partners as we celebrate the feast of our founder, St. Arnold Jansen. Not only the SBD, uh, the Arnoldus family are rejoicing. Here in our HELPC, we have our birthday celebrator, Sister Rose Pakani, the mother superior. And the uh, Christ the King Seminary is also uh, rejoicing, double celebration. Feast of the founder and rec birthday of the rector and dean, Father Pablito Tagura, SBD. Kaya marami po tayong dapat ipagdiwan. And for us to become worthy to participate in this science form of prayer, the Holy Mass, we pause for a moment, close our eyes, bow our heads. As we say sorry for all the sins and mistakes that we have committed, we believe that our God is a very loving and forgiving God. And so we pray, I confess. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, 
in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to life, which is everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. All powerful and ever living God, you made this day holy by welcoming St. Arnold Jansen into the glory of your kingdom. Keep us true to the faith he professed with untiring zeal and help us to bring it to perfection by acting in love. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the name of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, your watchmen lift up their voices. Together they shout for joy. When the Lord returns to Zion, they will see it. With their own eyes. Burst into song of joy together, you ruins of Jerusalem. For the joy, for the Lord has comforted his people, he has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord will lay bare his holy arm in the sight of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth will see the salvation of our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim the marvels of God among all people. Proclaim the marvels of God among all the people. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Sing to the Lord. Bless his name. Proclaim the marvels of God among all people. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell her glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim the marvels of God among all people. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory to his name. Proclaim the marvels of God among all people. Worship the Lord in holy attire. Tremble before him, all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. Proclaim the marvels of God among all people. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. To me, the very least of all the holy ones, this grace was given to preach to the Gentiles the inscrutable riches of Christ and to bring to light for all what is the plan of the mystery hidden from ages, past in God, who created all things, so that the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known to the church to the principalities and authorities in the heavens. This was according to the eternal purpose that he accomplished in Christ Jesus, our Lord, in whom we have boldness of speech and confidence of access through faith in him. For this reason, kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that he may grant you, in accord with the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with power through his spirit in the inner self, and that Christ may dwell in your heart through faith, that you, 
rooted and grounded in love, may strength to comprehend with all the holy ones what is the breadth, the length, and height, and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to you, Christ, the divine word. Glory to you, Christ, preached among the nations. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him, not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life. And the light was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. The true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who receive him, who believe in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory and the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth, from his fullness, we all have received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came to Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God, the only Son, who is close to the Father's heart, who has made him known. The Gospel of the Word. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, I have two sharings. Let me start with the four senses of the Bible. How do we read the Bible and how do we interpret? So, this is a special gospel. So, every time we celebrate the Feast of St. Anna Jansen, we took we usually take that the gospel. So let me first share something about how to read the Bible. So ito po yung tinatawag na there are four senses of the word of God. Kaya how to read the Bible? Una, in this uh, four senses, uh, the Bible, the word of God, we could look at it from four different senses or what we call perspectives. Number one, kaya mayroon tayong tinatawag every time you read the Bible, ang una is from the literal sense. Anong ibig sabihin? Love God. Love your neighbor. Yan. Literal. Love others. Yun. Love yourself. Eh, mahalin talaga natin ang ating sarili at yung pagmamahal natin sa, sa iba. Uh, magkaka-ugnayan, may ugnayan yung 
loving God, loving others, loving oneself, no? Kaya napakaganda. Literal yan, mahalin mo. Huwag mong awayin. Huwag ka makipag-away. Ganun lang ibig sabihin yon. And then, uh, dun sa mga sa mga nauuhaw, bigyan mo ng tubig, painumin mo, yung mga naguguto, pakaidit mo. Yan, literal, no? So, that's number one. Second, there is also um, what we call allegorical sense. Yung analogy. The kingdom of God is like, yan, ang pinaka-famous, mustard seed. Maliit siya, pero lalaki siya. So, allegorical. Ang kaharian ng Diyos ay maitutulad sa, meron namang pangatlo, the moral sense. Halimbawa, ito yun eh. Uh, sinabi doon, halimbawa, yung gospel ng Mark 9, verses 38 to 48. If your hand, foot, eyes, mouth, no? kung ano man ang isa sa mga ito, if your hand causes you, if your foot, if your eye, if your mouth, ganon, anong sinasabi? Ah, it will cause you to sin, cut it off. Ah, yun ang salita, cut it off, puputulin mo ba talaga? Hindi, ay di wala na, oh, pluck it out, di wala nang natira sa atin. <laughs> wala nang natira sa parte ng ating katawad kung tayo kung literal ito. Kaya hindi siya dapat literal. Moral sense. Ano yun? What is the moral of the story? O what is the lesson? Putulin mo, tanggalin mo, yung dadalhin ka sa kasalanan. That is the meaning of the third, yung moral sense. Okay? So moral sense, tanggalin ang lahat ng magdutulot ng kasamaan sa atin sa ating buhay. Eh, napakaganda. So, yung magdadala sa atin sa impyerno, tanggalin natin, putuli natin. Yun ang tatanggalin natin. Hindi yung parte ng ating katawan. And finally, yung gospel for today, kasama ito yung sa pang-apat, ito yung mystical sense. Kaya nga pagka mystical, ito nga John 1 verse 1 and following, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Uh, beautiful, no? Matalinghaga, kaya mystical. Ang salita ay naging tao and we receive grace upon grace. So beautiful. Kaya kay John, itong ganitong pananalita, mystical sense yan. Kaya nandito tayo ngayon. So from that, dilipat naman tayo doon uli sa isa. Si doon naman si ang nag-found na mahal na mahal ang salita ng uh, ng Diyos. Kaya we have here um, okay, papalitan lang natin. Okay, uh, wait. Papasok ang isa. Hindi lang po. Uh, yan. Ito na. So, let's see. Ayaw nang pumasok. Ito na ba yan? Okay. Yun. Nakita rin po. So, ito naman. Let's talk about um, St. Arnold Jansen. Ay, salamat. Praise the Lord. So ito na po, bago makapasok. So nakita natin yung pagpamahal ni St. Ano Jansen sa salita ng Diyos. So as I already mentioned in the introduction at doon pa sa mga previous introductions natin sa ating mga pinapalabas sa Triduum. So 
St. Arnold Johnson founded three religious congregations, tapos yung hindi niya naitatag, ngayon ay realidad na, kaya Arnold's family, the SBD, the Blue Sisters, Pink Sisters, at kayo, mga laiko. So we belong to one family, kaya ito rin ang magandang ating uh, ipinagdiriwan. At uh, lagi rin pinapaliwanag, ang birthday sa langit, yan ang kapistahan, and that's the death. Uh, araw ng pagkabatay ng mga santo, yun ang kanilang feast day dahil birthday sa langit. At ang ganda yung pinakita natin na first day of the Tidoom of Feast of St. Arnold Johnson, that was the reflection on the call for the threefold imitation of the Divine Word. Ito yung paano natin pwedeng gayahin yung salita, the Divine Word. So, imitate from the incarnate word of God, humility of spirit, and modesty of the heart. Beautiful, no? So, yun, una. And then, imitate from the crucified word of God, patience and courage. Yan ang pangalawa. So, humility, modesty, patience and courage. At pangatlo, imitate the glorified word of God, the cheerfulness and joy of the spirit. So kadalasan, pag sinabi natin santo, hindi masaya, laging seryoso, hindi. Kaya si St. Andol, pinapakita, ito yun, na triple imitation of the Word of God, yes to humility of the spirit, modesty of the heart, and then patience and courage, and then in the glorified Word of God, cheerfulness and joy of the spirit. So yan ang binigyan din natin, ng unang triduum. So, Ito naman yung uh, pangalawa, second day, reflection on confidence in God's providential guidance. So confidence in God is the virtue from which a missionary must draw strength and help. Indeed, a missionary's trust must be strong and heroic. God takes care of those who serve him. It is he who is eager to see mission work more flourishing in his church more widely spread. And since God wills it, we come generously to offer him our help. Alam niyo po, natutuwa ako dito sa confidence in God's providential guidance and how we proclaim the word of God. Sino ang pioneering dito sa atin? Ang HELPSI, ang Healing Eucharist, Loving Prayer Partners Community, ang ating Healing Eucharist mas sa ABS, 15 years. Dito sa atin naman, everyday, mag-iisang uh, taon na rin tayo. At uh, umpisa tayo, actually, February. At sino ang mga naandiyang dedicated? Diyan sa ABS, yan, sila Sister Faith, Sister Christy. Talagang walang patid, no? Kaya congratulations. So, at tayo naman, ang daming na-inspire, nakakakuha ng confidence in God to the Word of God, to the Divine Word. And finally today, yung uh, pangatlo, ito rin sis, ang S. Kaya nga, reflection on the three great S. Ano yon Sa buhay, there must be, we know how to handle the three S, the suffering, the self-denial, and submission. Napakaganda. So with this, kaya ako tuwag-tuwa sa ating community, sa Help C, uh, dito sa ating uh, uh, daily mass sa Healing Eucharist, sa Jesus says Good News, ayun ang focus natin eh, the divine word. How to spread Jesus in His word, the divine word. At ngayon, sa daming paghihirap, oh, kaya before the mass, karabi talaga ang challenge natin ngayon. Alam naman natin yung Omicron. Ano? Kaya there is truly suffering. There is self-denial, but we have to submit to the will of God. Hindi ba maunawaan? Lord, your will be done. So, kaya isa pa rin magandang prayer ni St. Arnold Johnson. May the darkness of sin and the night of unbelief vanish before the light of the word and the spirit of grace. And may the heart of Jesus live in the heart of all. Amen. At yung uh, lagi natin siya ipag- some, we ask the intercession of St. Arnold Johnson. Uh, St. Arnold Johnson, pray for us. And finally, panghuli, uh, ano nga bang SBD? Sino nga bang mga SBD? 
So, we are the religious missionary congregation. Uh, ito po ay ilang beses ko na nabahagi. Tais ko lang ulitin muli sa araw na ito kasi tayong lahat ay tinawag ni Jesus go to the whole world and preach the good news of the kingdom. Kaya tayo rin ay bilang lay partners, SBD lay partners, tayo tumutugon sa apanyaya at mandato ng ating pagsukristo na ihasik ang mabuting balita sa buong mundo. At yan na nga ang SBD makikita sa buong mundo in five continents. So 76 countries, almost 6,000. Ngayong pandemic, bumaba siya. No? So nasa 5,000 plus 900. So almost 6,000. At sinabi natin, ang mga Pilipino, uh, 498 ang buhay na Pilipino SBDs also working in five continents in 37 countries. Isa sa pinakabarami o dito sa Pilipinas, ang pinakabaraming misyonerong pinapadala sa ibang bansa ay ang SBD. We have as of now 123 SBD brothers and priests working abroad. At sino naman yung top 10 na mga makikita nating top SBD sa anong country? Ang number one po, Indonesia. Kung almost 6,000 kami, ang 1,700 plus Indonesian. Ang 992, Indian. At tayo, Filipino, almost 500, 498. And then from Poland, from Vietnam, from Germany, sila dati ang pinakamarami. Ngayon, pang-anin na lang sila. Then from Ghana, USA, Brazil, and Congo. So, yan po ang bilang. So, tayo po lahat ay kasama sa mission ni Jesus. The mission of Jesus is also our mission. And we are here to continue the mission of Jesus here on earth in human history. So, you are Jesus's chosen educators, lahat din tayo, no? ituro at ipangaral ang kanyang salita. At reminder, sabi nga His Eminence, daladala ang mission rosary. Kaya dasalin natin at paalaala, buhay ka pa, may mission ka pa. Win mo, gets mo, gawin mo. So we pause for a moment and ask the intercession of St. Arnold Jansen as we continue our celebration of the Holy Mass. And for each petition, we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, bishops, priests, deacons, and all who exercise authority in the church, may they be faithful in their service, For the people of God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered today, may we see everything through the eyes of faith, that we may realize that everything is God's gift to us. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the end of the pandemic, may you grant us the healing we need and the grace to recover from the detrimental effects brought about by COVID-19. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all missionaries who have left home, country, and family to proclaim the gospel to all nations, may the Lord protect them from all dangers, strengthen them in their loneliness, give joy to their communities, and fulfillment in their apostolate. May the Lord reward them in this life and in the life to come for their sacrifices and generosity for the kingdom. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. So, Lord, Continually guide all the members of the Arnoldus family, particularly our lay partners, the Pink Sisters, the Blue Sisters, and we, the Divine Word Missionaries. So Lord, give us the necessary grace 
so that all of us will spread your good news throughout the world. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Liturgy of the Eucharist. Now, my dear friends, that is our sacrifice and our unquestioning intentions may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. All powerful God, look upon the gifts we bring on this feast in honor of St. Arnold Jansen. May we who celebrate the mystery of the death of the Lord. Imitate the love we celebrate. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To whom do you lift up your hearts? We lift them up to the Lord. So let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation, always and ever to give you thanks. Father most holy, we, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bands of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts you pray by sending down your spirit from them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave him thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, William, our administrator, bishop, and all the clergy, the religious, your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O Lord, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have issued throughout the ages, you may merry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and you present glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. So we now turn to our Heavenly Father as we sing the prayer which our Lord Christ himself taught us. in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to the apostles, I did you peace, my peace I give you. Lord, look not on our sins, look not on our imperfections, which says the imitation is failures. Look not on our idiosyncrasies, but Lord, look on the faith of your church. Look, Lord, at the faith of the Filipino people. Look, Lord, at the faith of all the members of LC and the uh, participants here in the daily mass of the healing Eucharist. Jesus says good news. And Lord, Grant your church peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. With Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and God the Father in our hearts, we now share our words with this is mine. That's a sign of peace to one another. Peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Behold the divine Word. Our Emmanuel, God is with us. Our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Receive Jesus through his spiritual communion, the body and blood of Christ. Amen. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to life everlasting. Amen. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself holy to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. So I would like to express my uh, sincere gratitude to all of you, to our commentator, Sister Faith, to our reader, Sister Christy, um, mula sa Paul, mula nang magkaroon ng lockdown sa kapamilya, Tuloy-tuloy po at for the past 15 years then oh, sa ABS-CBN, spreading the good news of Jesus, experiencing the power of healing of Jesus Christ. So, at uh, dito rin uh, si Barlo, uh, ganun din mula sa Paul. <laughs> at uh, of course si Anthony, uh, talagang Tinapaganda ang ating misa kasama si Nebi. At ipagdasal po natin ang mga kasamahan natin sa crew. Kaya talagang challenging moments. No? Sa, especially para bukas. Kaya maraming maraming salamat sa mga prayers at maraming maraming salamat sa mga financial assistance na napanggitan ni Rene, Sister Faith. So kami po ay uh, on behalf of the Healing Eucharist. Let the good Lord uh, pay you back and okay you fall. Maraming maraming salamat po. At uh, pakinggan natin ang mga pangalan ng mga choir natin. Sir Faith. Maraming salamat po sa Music and Life. Palagi po namin kayong kasama. Um, si Sister Kay, Brother Erwin, Sister Karen, bro- uh, Sister Divine, Sister Tenten, Nanay Chiki at Tatay Rodel most especially. And of course, si uh, Aaron, uh, si Bunso, at si Nevi. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Uh, nandyan din po si Ate Ina, si Ate Ging, at si Ate Rachel. Maraming salamat po. Uh, at uh, bukas, bukas po ating Healing Eucharist Sunday Mass ang atin pong kasama for the Feast of the Santo Nino, Reverend Father Jerome Marquez SBD. At uh, para po at para po sa ating mga kasama na sandali lang po, hanapin ko lang po ang ating kung saan natin pwedeng ma, ma mahanap ang ating um ang ating misa. Uh, ito po ay maari natin makuha sa uh, sa sa TFC you no know? sa nila po hanapin ko lang po father mamaya po balikan ko kayo hanapin ko po siya after the mass yeah, announce ko po father okay so abang ano po at uh, nasabi na nga si Father Jerome live na live bukas alas sa is ng umaga at yan nga mamaya sa ibang platforms siguro po gayon muna ating it's uh, 
itaas natin ng mga kapatid natin nangangailangan ng paghilom. Lalo na po yung mga na-test na positive, mga asymptomatic, mga mild lang. Kaya taas natin sa Panginoon lahat ng mga may karamdaman. We believe that the author of life is also the restorer of our health. So Heavenly Father, we live up to you, our brothers and sisters that need healing. So touch them. And we ask also the Holy Spirit to uh, touch our sisters and brothers that need healing. So our Lord Jesus Christ, you came to heal, to restore the health of those who are sick, sick in body, and those who are also not feeling well, and uh, those who are suffering emotionally, mentally, and above all, spiritually. So yes, Lord, uh, we leave up to you also our doctors, nurses, the medical team. Patuli mo kaming hilumin at ang mga instrumento mo para pagalingin ang mga tao sa mundo ay sharing iyong pinili at sinugo. So just receive the healing power of Jesus. You are now restored to health. The author of life is also the restorer of our health. Pagalingin mo rin ang mga institusyon, Panginoon. Heal the Catholic Church. Heal all the governments in the world. Hilumin mo ang mundo. Hilumin mo ang iyong lilikang kalikasan. So Lord, we claim for the total and speedy healing of all humans and of all things, including all the institutions. All this we ask through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. So, mahabol na ba, Sister Faith? Kaya na yes, mahabol. po. Yeah. Kaya na po. <laughs> so, tomorrow po, with Reverend Father Jerome Marquez, SBD, the Feast of the Santo Nino. Maari namin kayong makasama through the following channels, the Kapamilya Channel at 6am to 7am and Teleradio 6am to 7am. For replays po, Jeepney TV at 7am to 8am and Sky Cable Channel 955, 10.15 to 11.15am and 5 o'clock p.m. to 6pm. If you are a TFC subscriber in Asia and Guam, simulcast po yan ng Manila airing. So that's 6 a.m. And NOLA or North and Latin America, Sundays at 6.30 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. Pacific time. For Europe and the Middle East, especially Saudi Arabia and London, it's at 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. If you are an I Want TFC subscriber, pwede rin po tayong magkasama via live streaming at 6 a.m. sa amin po oras or video on demand. Uh, kung kailan po magkakasama ang inyong buong pamilya, pwede nyo po hanapin ang Healing Eucharist and you could um, celebrate with us. We are also available on our YouTube page, our Facebook page, Twitter, and Periscope. Napakarami pong paraan upang magkakasama tayo bukas for the Feast of the Santo Nino. So see you all tomorrow. Amen. So talagang uh, kompleto po yan. Amen. So we praise and thank God. Si Gab, negative. <laughs> Salamat. <laughs> Sister Faith, ang makakasama po kas. Yung mga matatatag. <laughs> yes. Ang dasal po natin. Ano? Kaya yung makina kailangan namang uh, mag-quarantine. So para hindi makahawa dahil asymptomatic. So Buti na lang ganito tayo ngayon. Ano? Napag-uusapan natin, nakakangiti tayo, nakakatawa tayo. At uh, still, ingat, ingat, ingat pa rin po. So once again, thank you so much, Sir Faith, Sir Christy, uh, Marlo, and Anthony. Let us pray. Patuloy po natin ipagdasal, uh, palaka si Padre Lino, ni Casio, at uh, ganun din po si Brother Greg, Origines, at sa lahat na mga kinakailangan pang lalong lumakas. Amen. Isama natin sa ating panalangin. Lord, 
Send ano dyan, send work tirelessly for the faith, spreading your good news throughout the world, spending his life in its service. With the power this Eucharist gives, make your people strong in the same true faith and help us to proclaim it everywhere by all we say and do. Grant this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Eucharistic celebration has just ended, but our mission begins. begins. Go with Jesus, go with the Holy Spirit, go with God the Father, because God goes with you. Thanks be to God. And we thank you, Father Glenn, for celebrating this feast with us. Please take care. Please take care and get well. Happy birthday, Sister Rose. i